Well, guys, we got some more information here with regards to Jackie Christie of Basketball Wives. Now, if you guys have been watching the show, you know she is on the outs again with the group. And honey, when I tell you Brooke is obsessed with trying to prove that Jackie needs to be isolated and off this show, we got information here. Now, Brooke has been listening to Jackie's phone calls, y'all, and we are about to get into it. But before we do, go ahead and hit that like, share, and if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. And at the end, if you like the video, I do need you guys to hit the like button, okay? I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Now, if you guys have been watching the Toxic Basketball Wives, you know that Jackie Christie is not only on the outs with Brooke. She's actually kind of on the outs with everybody because you guys know how this show works. You don't get to have an issue with one person when you have an issue with Evelyn. You know how it goes. So now everybody is coming against her, much like in high school, you know, when you, you have a bully situation and it's just given high school. But anyhow, anywho, Brooke has made it her business to make sure she makes Jackie look as ridiculous as she can. But I might want to say this, Brooke looks ridiculous herself because as I have stated before, I wanted to really see Brooke in another light. Um, I understand, you know, what happened with her daughter, but all this anger, bitter, and this nastiness is just making her look more crazier than Jackie because Jackie is going to be Jackie. She's going to do what Jackie does and people are going to like her or they're not going to like her. But I feel like with Brooke, she's making herself look totally crazy. Um, and people are starting not to like Brooke, um, like I said, because Jackie is Jackie. But y'all, let's get into the obsessiveness and the desperation um, and what Brooke has actually went through to prove that Jackie hates Shawnee, that she hates Evelyn, that she's tired of um, hearing about Brandy's cheating husband, and she's sick of Jennifer's voice, and it just goes on and on and on. Well, apparently Brooke has been doing something that most kids do, listening on mute to Jackie and her business partner's cause. Now, I don't think it gets more desperate than that, Brooke. You have nothing better to do than sit on the phone and listen to Jackie's cause on mute. That's given obsessed. Y'all, let's get into this audio. The new things that I would like to put on the table for everyone. Something that she doesn't know is as of the last 72 hours, I have been on the phone with her business partner, Sunday, on three-way call on mute. Sunday and Jackie were supposed to be putting together a production company. After six months of listening to Jackie and all of her lies, Sunday finally realized that she is a Fugazi business owner. So it made her reach out to me to expose Jackie. I have been hearing her on the phone, listening to her conversations. And one thing that she said about she was that she's sick of hearing your voice. Ah, her voice? Yes. And she also said, no one's interested in you and Christian getting married. Oh, she sent your nudes and uh, with your vagina and your breasts out. What the f She absolutely hates Evelyn <laughs> and Shawnee. Literally said the word hate. 
out of her mouth. Um, she also says she can't understand why you're here unless you're going to have a baby, which we all know your situation, or if you're going to divorce Jason because he's cheating on you with 350 women, and um, wow. we're sick of hearing of it. Okay, guys. So I did a video um, in which I talked about Shani O'Neal using intimidation tactics on um, these ladies. And we all saw it happen with Tammy Roman. We saw it happen with OG. We even saw it happen with Brandy. Um, we even saw something similar happened to Jennifer. If you guys recall, Jennifer and Evelyn were not always in a good place. And you know, that one where Evelyn was running across the table and it all resulted in Jennifer talking about Evelyn's daughter being a hoe, which it seems like a lot of the ladies are saying. Um, but for some reason, she doesn't want to talk about this on this show. But anywho, um, so Tammy, T I'm sorry, Evelyn seems to go run back to Shawnee and Shawnee seems to take Evelyn's side, which again makes this show extremely hard to watch because it seems like a bunch of um, high school women that's unable to authentically navigate their relationships, get along with each other or not get along with each other. It seems like if you don't take the popular opinion of Evelyn, you're ousted. And that's what I don't like. So in this audio that you guys heard is Brooke trying to save her job, trying to kiss up. And basically what she's doing is she's trying to reveal, um, reveal that Jackie doesn't need to be on this show because what Brooke is simply saying is that I can't even get it out. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, y'all. So what Brooke is saying is that this woman, Jackie Christie, is saying that she hates Shiny. Now, let me tell you why this is a problem. Because if you guys know the Shiny O'Neill, now Shiny Henderson, if you don't kiss her ASS, honey, you going to be thanked for your services and you're going to be off this show. So in this audio what brooke is saying is that jackie hates evelyn she hates shawnee and then obviously you heard her talk about the other ladies in which she talked about she is tired of jennifer her wedding is going to be trash um brandy's husband the only thing he's ever done was cheated on her so she just goes on and on well, here's my deal, Brooke, girl. Why are you listening to somebody's conversation? Like this is giving, it's giving high school. Now, the woman that Brooke is talking about is Sunday Carter. I don't know if you remember Sunday Carter. I'm not even going to bring up a picture of her. She was on Basketball Wives many moons ago. Um, so it's just given very much. Brooke is obsessed and I need to expose Jackie and I'm going to listen to her call. So this is where they are now. And I feel like Jackie is probably going to be, um, I don't know, maybe fired or even maybe given fewer episodes. I don't know because we know how Shawnee retaliates. I mean, we saw her in action. We got plenty of people who have stated that it is a toxic work environment and just how Shawnee is. So that is what I wanted to say. And of course, y'all got to let me know what y'all think about this. And why is Brooke so freaking obsessed on trying to save this little job, honey? She must need these little bitty coins because this just is giving very much desperate. Like I said, I wanted to see Brooke in another light. And this obsessiveness, this crazy, bitter Brooke, I just could, I didn't even need to see this. It's too much. And guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you guys think in the comments with regards to this show. It is given too much for me.